this tutorial that I'm doing now will work correctly with VCarve also. Uh, I'm just going to create some simple shapes and then I'm going to set toolpaths on those. A simple rectangle. I will draw a circle somewhere around the middle. And I will put another rectangle in the middle of that. So what I'm hoping to accomplish here is I'm going to cut this out. This will be my final cutout. This will be pocketed. This circle will be pocketed. And this rectangle, this square, you might say, should be V-grooved and raised out of this pocketed area. So the first thing that I need to do is to select the circle and the rectangle. I will move over to my my toolpath operations view and I'll click create v-carve. I will use a flat area clearance tool. I will select that and I will use a quarter inch end mill. I click OK and I will use a 60 degree v-bit for my v-carving tool. I will have a flat bottom depth of 0.25 inches and I think that's all I need. Now I just click calculate and there will be my pocket. If I wanted to preview that you can already see what it's done but I'll roll it up on a side so you can actually see what it what it would look like. And that's how simple it is to, to do that. Uh, I'll close this view. I come back. I'll go back to the new. Now I want to cut it out. So in for that, I'll choose this outside line. I'll come back to this icon, which is a Create Profile Toolpath. And that's the one you do to use, your, use to do your cutouts. I click that. My material is three quarters of an inch thick, so I want to cut three quarters of an inch. Uh, I could do, you know, 0.73 and leave 20 thousandths of material if I wanted to, but I want to go all the way through. Uh, I want to do an outside cut. I do want to add tabs because I don't want my part jumping into my tool when it finishes cutting. So I add the tabs. I edit my tabs and I'll add four tabs. I'm going to put one on each side. Add tabs and they're not where I want them so I just grab them and I move them to where I want them. Simple as that. I'm happy with that so I click close tabs will be a half inch long and they'll be 0.125 inches thick. Um, that should work fine. So I just click calculate and now it created this toolpath. And you can see our other cut that's in the wood there. So now if I click preview this toolpath or visible toolpath which is the one that's selected. Visible means the one selected. If I chose this one and this one, those would all be visible. But I don't want to run that one again. I don't want to run that one again. So now I click Preview Visible Toolpath. And we see our tabs in the wood. If we go back to this view, you can see the tabs are there. Uh, I can reset the preview and preview all toolpaths. And it shows you that it's cutting the inside part first, then it cuts it out. 
those tabs would be all that would remain and all you gotta do is just take a, a sharp chisel or a hacksaw or something like that and knock those out and that ends well no that doesn't end this tutorial uh, I go to close I go to save toolpath now since I'm using an automatic tool changing machine I can select all of these and have it output it in one file so I just come down I make sure that I've got my ATC post selected and I just click save toolpath it asks me for a tool or a file name I give it a file name I'm going to save it to my desktop I click save and the file has been saved now had had I been using a non tool changing machine I would select these one at a time but I would start with this one I would save that file first then I would select the next one and the next one. Uh, since the pocket and the profile are the same, I could actually select both of those at the same time, but the problem would be that it would cut it out and only have four tabs holding it, when then would have to do the V-carving operation. So I would choose this one first, then this one, then this one in three separate files and run them in that order. Hope it helps. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you.